Hello there everyone and welcome back to Ultra Blues, a disease series in which we were originally started as Kaisar's Legion, but now we're uh, with uh, the Mob Pius cohort, uh, of course by the Mob Pius Legion, but uh, we're currently taking point in Utah, which uh, we read at the end of the last episode, I'm pretty sure, so if you read that one again, please go right ahead. But after that, we gotta talk about the frontier. We're gonna subdue Utah, we need to launch a point, or launch a point. Let us turn Dead Horse Point into an outpost of the Legion and find out what horses were. And then wake up Utah eventually. Utah is full of primitive tribes, but rich in resources and potential uh, involuntary workers. They will serve in the new order, but at the meantime, uh, the Lost Hills have actually gone to war with us. We didn't go to war with them, and that's how they got all this other territory that we originally got too, uh, from the war with uh, NCR, but we're in a little bit of a pickle. Uh, we need to get a few more supplies, and now we have supplies. And now they're all gonna die. And these guys are not, well, not cut off, but. Um, but yeah, we've got some comms to go through as well, which is always very, very good. And 16, over uh, 800 manpower losses that the Lost Hills definitely cannot replace. Very good! Absolutely beautiful, look at all that. Getting crushed by us. Over 2,000 losses, they have a single division left. 4,000, 5,000, they're dead. Cool! I got some strip. Oh, they're still using strip power armor? Wow, that's, uh... That ain't really good, I'd say. In the meantime, I'm gonna throw you guys back here. Which should be good, and so we're gonna go all up here and whatnot. Uh, taking point, Utah sleepers. Well, I guess that that'll look pretty nice for us overall. You guys can come over here because that's gonna be very tough to fight over water for. Um, you know what? You can ride your chariots. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, is that sort of border war? Oh. Well, they're already dead, so it doesn't even matter. Wake up, Utah. Wake up. To conquer Utah. <laughs> We've long influenced. Uh, look at this. Uh, had, had an influence in Utah, slaving and trading and raiding. Uh, indeed, based on casual discussions with members of the Legion, one might think we had actually ruled much of Utah. And the practice of hegemony has been nominal. Let us start to fix that. Honestly, I'm just going to go like go to war with them. Okay, I don't like that we have to do that. I thought I'd just go to war. But it makes sense why we do it the way we do it. Mm, like I said, I think we're pretty much mostly done here. This is probably the last episode of the campaign, as you can probably tell from the title. And so we should probably grab that one because we can. We got some dumpies here? Yes, we do. Even though we definitely need some planes ourselves. Better range of bombers, never because they cost too much and too ineffective. So we ain't going to use them. Oh, we got the war of the reservation. Ah. Well, that's nice. Uh, a few potential supply issues, but it shouldn't be anything too bad that we can't manage at all. We are doing new systems care package, military setting bonuses for non-core manpower and whatnot, and raising wasteland intelligence budget, which I think is pretty fair to do. Uh, other than that, not not too much else. Uh, basically, uh, consumer goods. Yeah, we can use more stability relations, don't really care about that. Drastic measures, no, no, no. Strange places, strange rumors. We need more infantry equipment, of course. Uh, the Navajo are, are unruly. Oh well, we don't care. Okay, so can we actually just go to war with them? Okay, we don't need to actually justify. That's good. So then we get claims, territorial disputes, crazy horns, and yintas. And assimilate any resistance. Oh, Corn Castle goes down. Some of Utah's tribe, like so many of the Wasteland, <clears throat> reject the Legion's rule at first, but they can serve in the Legion, or as a whetstone to sharpen our swords. One way or another, we will rule Utah. Do you guys just. I doubt you can blitz through there. Can you guys do anything here? Eh, you might be able to, maybe. Do you have any planes? Oh, your planes are over there. Here, do that. Missing a lot of fighters, though. Please just help shred. And they do have special forces of their own over there as well. That's a good amount of damage. Roughly 16 ish. Good. Cargo planes. Don't really need them, but we'll take it for now. Ah, uh, salvage guards showing up. Combat blimps. Probably not going to use these, but we'll say we are. 
But not really. We're doing well over there. Yeah, we're pushing in here too. Not bad. Uh, losses. 900 versus about 200. And that's not too shabby. Yeah. Let's see start just fighting on these guys. These metal men. They're not really men at all. Service rifles, oh boy. That's a lot of service rifles. Oh. I think I read this a long time ago, but the Legion March is on its stomach, and so why don't we just simply take the, for the corner of the, uh, Las Garanjas. Stability. War sport. Well, we're at war right now. Let's go get some more war sport. Beautiful. Love it. Cherish it. Embrace it. Nice. Thousand losses versus three hundred. Not too shabby. As long as we got air superiority, you never thought Kazar's Legion and the Malpais cohort would have air superiority with you know close air support. But some common clue. You should have tried to destroy the NCR in Kaisar's lifetime. Maybe this plan could have happened because Malpaya seems just wants seems like Malpaya just wants to set the world on fire. I love getting all of these a lot. Nice. And thank you, sleepers. We're almost hundred percent war sport. Very nice. Um Who's next? Ah. The Republic of Las Granjas. Well, they look pretty alone. They probably swarm up pretty easily. Especially since the Rio Pack died of the Sinaloa Cartel and the Texas Arms Association, which has a huge, has a huge chunk of Texas. They have a lot of cores here? Care yeah, for the Grand Supply Corps. Just me the Wicked? Yeah, we want to do that as well. It's more free uh, stability. Uh, Luchadores. Oh. You're still down here. Oh. Huh. You're a puppet of Edristo Mexicano. It's fighting the Alamo chapter. Well, all right. It's not my fight, so I'm not going to get involved. Are we done researching things? Yeah, we do have plasma rifles. That stuff is done. This stuff is pretty much all done. Oh, we're not done. My bad. My bad. Well, yeah, let's see what we can do. Hopefully we have a good time in the end. Oh, Lucha of Revolts. Our war with the Free Fires have apparently brought out the worst in our subjects. Curious have reported armed uprising in the several conquered regions, with the rebels directly arming and taking orders from the masked wrestlers. We'll crush them swiftly. Bruh. Are you kidding me? That's so stupid. Bruh. Like, come on. Good, sink all the convoys. Oh, they're, oh, they're coming through here. Okay, that makes more sense, too. Jeez, that's gonna suck to fight through. Decimate the wicked because they deserve it. Summon any resistance. Yes, please. Okay, we're number Good. Come on, get down there. Edricito Mexicano, are you? Bro. Is it online? That's good. Songs. I'd like to lower the conscription level eventually. And we're saving.
some of the inner resistance. I mean, we could do this one using every tool. Well, why is Malpai so like it teaches us that everyone in the Legion is like a tool working for the good of the Legion? So does it matter what a tool looks like if it's working if it serves a Legion? I mean, I don't really want to do this one, but we'll do it anyways. Bruh. What the heck? Stop it with the stupid revolts. We literally just killed you all off. That was nice. Who were these guys? They won't really push us anywhere else. We could. It doesn't really matter in the end, though. Lot of divisions per one, but whatever. Cool. I should have all you guys like right here for this one. It's fine. It's fine. I swear, it's fine. You are in my way, and I don't like it when people are in my way. Gobble them all up. Another comment says, alternative history. Ma Pius I, instead of the burn man, we have the burned land. Baptism in the world, uh, baptize the world in flame again. Someone says, Joshua Graham, Graham has arrived. Someone says, so now the Ma Pius like at least the Legion. The NCR's fate is sealed. Pretty much. Someone says, when I play TNO, after doing Ibuka and Kamai's walkthrough, can you do the submod for TNO called Sony Plus? Uh, and to that I have to say, of course. Of course. Absolutely. Would I be a TNO YouTuber if I did not do as many sub as I possibly could? I know I've not done them all, but I'd be a really bad YouTuber if I didn't try to do most of them. Using every tool? Outriga. Oh, nice. Alright, so what are we missing here? Um, Conquest of Utah, Nicole Hart, no. No, it didn't work out. We should have probably moved the white legs in the beginning of this campaign, but whatever. Oh, the most important thing is known to be it is to know what ought to be done. Las Grandes will make a fine territory for the Legion if properly managed. The old elite ran their state for the benefit, but uh, we shall run it for the benefit of all. Words of Somnus. In the wasteland, you rarely meet a Nightkin, and those who we did meet do not cooperate with the Legion. However, after the capture of New Vegas, a group of Nightkins, led by King, offered a deal. I would join the Legion, but demand help in finding Dr. Henry, who is investigating the source and the cure for the schizophrenia. Finding. One man is no problem for a Legion of especially since his studies, if his sister studies are successful, increase Nikon's benefit to the Legion. We lose even more stability, which sucks, but whatever. Bruh. Bruh. Guess who I saw today? Part 1, that human, Dr. Henry. We're studying our condition, but because of the Legion invasion, he's gone. <coughs> I was getting tired of waiting for him, but it's not, it's got worse. A lot of Nightkins are already moving, going through withdrawal. He must be found immediately. Finding them one man isn't a problem for the Frumentaris. Oh boy. And this is going to pop up again because I've been, I've reloaded the save between uh, the fade and fade out, but it is what it is. We're still going to wait for, for the Sinaloa Cartel. We've got a good amount of manpower. I'm going to go ahead and... Hmm... Um, go into that one. Why not? Draw control gear, service rifles. We are... So out of a decent amount of equipment. Not as bad as it used to be. We have... Done quite a bit better. Um, Boulder Dam. There's still quite a bit of resistance up here, though. But of course, oh, we have Nova Roma. Okay. Oh yeah. Wow, ninety-one thousand. That's uh, pretty good. That's pretty decent. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty decent. I wouldn't mind coring Hidden Valley because that's quite a few resources that we could use as well, though. Schooner holes. Sure, why not? And we're done with that. Pretty typical. I do want to go to war at least with Sinaloa Cartel when we're, before we end the campaign, but you know, whatever. Did you remember clocking? Nice. <coughs> that might be the end for us. In terms of real technology, we have chariots, which are very cool. 
Guess who I saw today, part two? There's so much to talk about these from Atari that they can't even find one person. They must have left the Mojave a long time ago, but what should we do in that case? We can't wait any longer. This, this Legionnaire. What other dog owners have? So you suggest using captured NCR signs and followers, of course. Are you someone among these rabbles with a head on his shoulders? Uh, kind of I'd like to record this one, but it says too much. It'll help lower it if we do this one too. And do we do this one next? No. You don't always go on to unbolt this. Gains now you can research. Consumer gets factories, goes up. Ah. Yeah, you never know what how things might turn out. But we have a heavy ship we as well. No. Drive into it. Gun ports, that's nice. <clears throat> well, I guess we're done with the mobile warfare technology. Or mobility based warfare stuff for now. Scavenger's Triumph got more land auction things, which doesn't mean anything at all to us now. Whatever. No, I think we're pretty much done. So let's go to... Oh, hello. Ah, we're a little open here, but whatever. Oh. So who are we fighting right now? I just see to Mexicano rifle territory. Okay. Well, they're not going to do better. Oh, they went to war with those guys. Okay, that's good. Not that we care that much, honestly. Oh, crap. You know what? Luchadores? Can I just take... I don't want Las Granjas. That's all I really want. And maybe you guys do. I guess we can take the Navy as well. Not that we really need it, but, you know, whatever. Nice. Oh, hello. Beautiful. Is this any good? Uh, it's, it's okay. I should really need it, but whatever. Uh, what's our next focus? Where rig sails? Oh, uh, up here. Well, the most important thing is to know what ought to be done. Las Granjas would make a fine territory for the Legion, but if properly managed. The old elite ran their city for the benefit, for their benefit, but we now shall run for the benefit of all. Why not? <clears throat> Why shouldn't we take everything from them? And then, the duties of an overseer. The following are the duties of the overseer. Oh, uh, he must show good management. The feast days must be observed. He must withhold his hands from another's goods and diligently preserve his own. Absolutely. So, we're not just playing anybody in four ways, huh? A hundred and... Why is this so expensive? And the Royals there, too. You guys are where? I guess we did want to go to war with these guys, too. Oh, well. You know what? Since we don't have to go to war with them, we'll let Sinaloa take care of that. And we are just going to focus up here real quick. We might get there in time. We might not. Cool. Warrior equipment. Very nice. Done. Beautiful. Hey, reactive material, nice. And the Titanomachi. Titanomachi. Oh, look at that. They say Mexico is the land of the Titans, but even a Titan might fall. With the control of Sonora and Chihuahua, Mexico's well belongs, uh, begins to flow north, and we can prepare for any future operations or opportunities. More development flagstaff. Beautiful. Begin a trade route from El Foro to a Flagstaff. Look at those fine fellows. Overall, not bad. I mean, I guess we could take out all of Utah, but. Uh, let's get some more stability this time. Uh, what do we have over here? Sure, why not? That's fine. Do that one too, do that one too. Let's at least finish the focus. I mean, I guess we could do FEV pools, but I don't really feel like it too much. It just takes so long to go to war with these guys. And we need to go to war with these guys too. It's gonna take a while. You know, looking at the pools of FEV. <clears throat> It becomes clear how the trolls maintain their numbers. The Legion does not aim to turn humans into super mutants, but the pools can be used to adapt other super mutants into them. Who knows, maybe we can make them stronger. So the Warren. Where's the Warren? It's the Warren's up there. 
Uh, I don't really feel like going to war with them, honestly. Oh, we have another focus? Yeah, up here. Yeah, not bad. Slay the Titans, huh? This one's Legion of Hades, which would be cool, but I don't really need it. The idea of the Legion of Hades as a legion made up of mutants was proposed by Centurion Caius Drusus, who was also offered to lead it, being the only high-ranking mutant in the legion. Every tool has a purpose, and the mutants have found theirs, which we could do, but we're already using Caius. Beautiful. Ground Pounder, so... Uh, um, there, just don't bother me with that. I kind of wish I'd remove those to a degree. I don't really need them. So, I don't know. Um, we could go to war them, but I don't think there's really any point to... Since we're already doing very well, and I don't get involved in their war down here. So overall, Cosmos Legion is always fun to play as, and the Malpais Court is also very fun. I've never actually played as them, I think. So, but hey, we're gonna end the campaign there. Ooh. I think there's no, no other uh, focus for us to do besides those ones down there. So, if not, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and let me know what your thoughts are over the Malpais like it eventually, of course, as well as the Malpais cohorts. Uh, nation. So, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.